Well, hello there. And uh, it's another video from uh, Mama Jane's husband and from Mama Jane. And um, we're going to be telling you about San Francisco today. And uh, we made our way from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Delighted that we didn't get disembarked at San Francisco, <laughs> at, at Los Angeles, because we were told we weren't, but then we were told we weren't. That's another story. That's another story. See the other videos. See the other videos <laughs> about that. Um, and uh, we were uh, on the way to San Francisco. And, um, well, how did it go? Well, says himself, I want to be up crack of dawn so I can video going under the bridge. How lovely will that be? Well, actually, no, it wasn't how lovely because it was so foggy. I'm trying to remember what they call fog. What do they call fog in San, San Francisco? It's not Charlie, is it? No, it's not Charlie. It has a name and, and it'll come to me. Yeah. Is it Carl? Carl. Uh, it's Carl. 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 Don't know why Carl. Carl fog. But yeah. there you are. Well, Carl arrived. Carl arrived. And uh, yeah. so, yeah, I mean, I was fast asleep in bed and of no consequence to me, but uh, so himself was a little disappointed yeah. about that. You'll, see the, you'll <laughs> see the photos. I've got a video <laughs> and I've got, I've got a little video to put in and I got some photos <laughs> as we went under the Golden Gate Bridge. With Carl. <laughs> arrival all around us so that was all around <laughs> us um, yeah. and uh, well we, we we docked it was uneventful yeah. the docking and uh, we found us uh, found ourselves I think on pier 33 when when we docked and uh, we were allowed off the ship weren't we, we were. it was freedom yes. day freedom day yeah. so if you've seen the videos about being uh, incarcerated because of uh, covid and then you'll know what we're talking about if you've not seen those videos you'll think what anyway it was freedom day it was freedom day <laughs> so we were allowed off the ship yep. and we decided that um uh, we were first off the ship by the way <laughs> that's how keen we were because he'd been um, up forever anyway, trying yeah. to see the bridge so in the car. We were, we were off the off the ship as soon as we can, and we decided to walk to the uh, ferry building. Um, and this is where people used to arrive into San Francisco. Um, uh, uh, previously, it was the big uh, place that people arrived in, and were all the immigrants coming into into San Francisco. So it's historically very um, uh, important building um, and recently unfortunately with the bridges being built um, it's important uh, its importance has, has waned so it was uh, more a shopping centre mm. when we got there very lovely very, very lovely. lovely and they were you could still catch ferries oh, to yeah. various places yeah, yeah. Um, but um, it was more like a shopping centre weren't it mm. and uh, we experienced our first Americanism when we got there, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Can you remember what the, there was a warning in huge, big print as we got to the ferry building about you were at risk of all sorts of things? Oh gosh, you? yeah, yeah. It's Have you forgotten about that, Mama? No, Jean? I haven't forgotten, but I've forgotten that's where it was. Yeah, um, it was bizarre. I have never seen this in England. I do not know if it's happens in England. Uh, I don't know if it happens anywhere else in the world, but in the in the um, window the, there was a, a sign, quite an obvious sign, saying please be aware that coming into this building you could be, um, you could get cancer, you could get bre breathing problems because of all the chemicals in the, not in, not chemicals that were in the chemicals in furnishings and carpets and every, just generally everywhere but as a disclaimer that you couldn't then sue the building if you caught if you developed something yeah. strange um yeah i have never seen that anywhere else uh, but please let us know if you have so we we walked uh, through the building had a good look around and we really liked the place, place, like, yeah. liked the place. Yeah. um but as you do um well we had to find some coffee didn't oh, we of course <laughs> and we found this little coffee shop and in we went in. In we went and there were two young ladies, lovely young ladies, who were not American, um, I realised after. Because 
I started to sing. Now, this is where my age shows. Um, those of you who were sort of teenagers in the late 60s will remember the song. If you're going to San Francisco, you must wear some flowers in your hair. You remember it? If you don't, but if you do, you'll know why I sang it, because we're in San Francisco. I did not have any flowers in my hair. And these two young ladies just looked at me like, this woman's crazy, but she's old, so we'll humour her. We and just thought everybody in San Francisco <laughs> would have heard of that song. But they hadn't. They haven't. And uh, as I said, they, they weren't even from San Francisco. Anyway, but the coffee was lovely. The cakes were lovely. Oh, the cakes were gorgeous. Very nice. We loved the And the, the young ladies, when I explained why I had suddenly burst into song, they, they sort of uh, thought it was hilarious. Yeah. And um, oh, we, 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 um, we, we sat outside for our coffees, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. And our cake. And uh, we sat by a statue of Gandhi. Mm. There's this lovely statue of Gandhi. Uh, outside and uh, not far away were the boats, the ferry boats still leaving. And uh, we went and uh, took some photos of the other br bridge in San Francisco. Not that's not the there golden. Are two. There are two bridges. Both thick in fog uh, though um, in the morning. Uh, well, there were, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some nice photos. Uh, the Oakland Bay Bridge uh, is the other bridge, and uh, we we had a look at that. Um, and on the way to the ferry uh, building, we um, it's a lovely walk from mm. from where the cruise uh, ship uh, docks to the ferry building. It's actually a lovely, lovely it's nice, walk. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you go past various things, but the thing that stood out for me on the way back was the Exploriatum. I think that's how you say it. Um, and we found it was it was just up my street, um, science yeah. type geeky stuff. And there's these two Archimedes chairs that you can sit in and it shows you how the, the sound is uh, amplified very simply by the, the shape of the chair. I have Even to, Mama Jane was impressed. I, I was impressed because yeah. I thought, what? Yeah. And we sat in these big yeah. statuey things, sculpture things, yeah. and I thought, oh, boy. And, and, and Mama Jane had a, a light bulb moment <laughs> when it all happened. Yes. Yeah, you know, <laughs> as people do when they discover how amazing science is. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we we then, the next part of our plan, well, uh, it didn't go to plan, did no, it? No, because the plan was to get the hop on, hop off bus, but we couldn't find a stop. We kept, we saw one or two hop on, hop off buses, but we, we didn't, on it. but it was good because it made us walk in the other direction uh, down to Pier 39. Now, it was a long walk. It was a long walk, yeah. yeah, but it was nice weather and it, it was lovely. The fog had gone and uh, it, it was really nice. And it, Pier 39, I must say, is well worth... Because I thought, well, what, Pier 39, what's that about? Well, what that is about is just lovely. Shops, restaurants... Quirky. Quirky. Blingy. Blingy. OTT, yeah. over the top. Yeah. All sorts of strange things. Yeah. But the best thing about it is that when we got there, we uh, we had a prosecco. Well, it would be rude not. It, yeah, and we found this lovely upstairs restaurant, yeah. and we sat on the balcony outside, yeah. perched, looking out, um, and and see what was going on. And we could hear these this no oh, see and this it, noise. It, it overlooked Alcatraz. Yes. By the way, yeah. yeah, you know, so we didn't actually go to Alcatraz, but it, there it was, quite near us. Uh, but we could hear this noise and we thought, whatever is making that noise, well, whatever it was, see <laughs> like. storm or other they were washed up <coughs> and uh, rescued and didn't want to leave and they sort of stayed there and uh, they built these platforms for them to bask on and they could leave they could leave at any time they wanted but indeed they stayed they liked it there didn't yeah. they yeah and they were quite, they were, they were quite a 
quite an attraction. So loud. It was so interesting to watch them doing things. Um, and uh, <coughs> got some uh, interesting shots of them. Mm. Um, and, but there was all sorts on Pier 39. Mm. Um, it, it, it was quite astounding. While we were on Pier 39, what did we find? We found the hop on, hop off bus. <laughs> and uh, we, we got on it. And uh, we, uh, and it's great. I'd highly recommend getting on the hop on, off, mm. off bus at San Francisco because it gets you around a lot of the, the, the touristy places and it gets you a really good feel of the, the, the place. Mm really of san francisco and uh, uh we, we we joined it and it, it it did it hit the it hit the money didn't it, it hit yeah. the button yeah and it, it's um we went round once and then we went round again to where we thought oh we'd like to see more yeah. of that that's the good thing about hop on hop off buses yeah. and uh, we decided that uh when we went through uh, union square the first time mm. that was the place that we, we'd get off but we did follow the, the, the whole trip round and um, uh, we what one of the, the places that stood out was the council building mm. were San Francisco uh, council the equivalent of the council across there uh, local government huge on it mm. building in a big square uh, it were outstanding mm. really. mm. um, and then after that we ended up going to uh, an area called Height Asbury, and uh, there's some strange buildings there, um, and it's left over. It was the area where all the hippies were, weren't it? Who and, were, of course, wearing flowers in the hair. Yes, and and doing all sorts of other things as well. <laughs> uh, and we would have, if we'd had time, spent more time yeah. there. We'd have got off there yeah. if we hadn't been pushed for time, really. Um, but that's a fairly amazing um, place. Uh, to, to explore and um, you could see the Sutro Tower from uh, that area, the Sutro Tower as well uh, and, and that's quite an amazing structure that uh, it's a three-legged steel tower um, quite a landmark in San Francisco uh, that transmits all the radio and, and TV in the area so that was quite interesting and then we we made our way on the bus to the Golden Gate oh. Park. Oh, the park, park yes. beforehand, which is this. You could spend a day there, yeah, yeah. but you could just spend a day at the Golden Gate yeah, Park. Yeah. Um, and uh, that, that's quite an interesting place. Again, we'd have liked to get off. Yeah. The, the San Francisco, we, we've literally just been sat talking about where we'd like to go for longer. And San Francisco, um, usually I see a place and think, oh yeah, that one I see, that one I. San Francisco, I would love to go um, and, and just spend for time. For, for a week, yeah. Uh, it's a long way to fly, but you know, um, who knows? Never say never. Yeah, yeah it's always a chance. Yeah. And uh, then we went from there, of course, to the Golden Gate oh. Bridge. And uh, <laughs> we were warned, I have to say, the, the, the crew's tour um, chap. chap who did the chats about all the places we were calling at on board did warn us that it was windy on the Golden Gate Bridge. That <laughs> is the, the biggest understatement. <laughs> it's the most breathless place I've experienced. We were upstairs on, on planet the planet Earth. <laughs> we were upstairs on an open top bus, so I suppose that, you know, didn't help. It was it's an experience, <laughs> uh, but, but I would be warned. Be prepared. Yeah. We thought we were wrapped up quite warm. Yeah. Yeah. We weren't, and the wind was well. It just took the breath out. Of you you lungs. couldn't wear a hat because it would have just blown off. So you need something like a hood or just hang on to your hat, as it were. But I risked my life <laughs> and my phone taking the taking the pictures yeah. I took. Yeah, it was. I can't, nothing will explain what it was like. It was. You can't, it, it, it was just fabulous. Like, it was fabulous and such an experience. Yeah. And I'd go and do it again, possibly, but with different headgear. Yeah. yeah. So we um, we after that we you, after the Golden Great Bridge, you work your way back to uh, the beginning of the tour on Pier Thirty Nine. Well, we stayed on, didn't mm. we? Um, because we wanted to get off at Union Square, because um, what I worked out is that from. Uh, uh, Union Square, um, you'd, 
you could walk up Knob Hill. Knob uh, Hill. And, and then walk down Knob Hill, going through um, Chinatown. Um, you could walk down oh, North Beach, um, uh, which is like a little Italian area. Um, and, and then eventually get down to the, the cruise port. So I thought this would be an interesting thing to do. Interesting. Uh, interesting. Oh, that's the word. It was it was an interesting. But first, yeah. <laughs> we got off Union Square. Nice place. Very nice. Very nice place. Surrounded by all these posh shops and everything. But lovely place. Um, again, you could have spent half a day mm. in Union Square, really. Uh, but that's where Macy's was, not everything. Yeah, yeah. Which we didn't we didn't go we didn't, in. We we weren't yeah, into yeah. shopping. Uh, but we did find this lovely restaurant. It was called Sears fine dining yeah uh, it wasn't that much that much to look out outside no, was it no no um but we we were hungry and we thought we'd risk it for swiss and, and inside it was very um vintage 1950s 60s it was absolutely lovely i don't mean like a american burger bar kind of place no it was a restaurant but it mm, yeah it was lovely and we had a lovely meal a there, lovely meal absolutely fantastic yes. yeah um, and the whole uh, aura of the place. Yeah, can just, I say that? Aura, say aura of a restaurant? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it was um, ambiance. That's ambience. the words I'm looking That's for. That's the word. Um, it was fantastic, really. Mm. So, we, um, with full tummies, we set up, set off up Knob Hill. Now, I don't. Uh, so, we got to the top, and then we started to walk down, and we walked through Chinatown. Mm -hmm. That was interesting, wasn't mm. it? Yeah. Very good. Yeah. We, liked, we enjoyed trying to travel. We did. And um, then, uh, oh yeah, then you had a, you, you, had, you met a fireman, didn't you? <laughs> now, one of our family members um, is involved with uh, the fire service in where we live. And uh, so I'm always, <laughs> this is a joke really, I take photographs of, of fire engines. Now I do always ask permission because you can't start wandering around in fire things fire stations with a camera you're probably going to get arrested so um i did ask permission and th this chap was so lovely and uh, he, he let me take all these lovely photographs and and then he said and let me show you this he said in england um fire helmets are no longer made of leather who knew uh, but here they are and indeed i've got a photograph of a leather fireman's helmet and leather leather helmet belonging to a fireman and um so that was if you're into things fire and rescue you'll probably find it interesting if not you're thinking shut up but there you are and he'd just come back from a call and he just he? and it indeed was in his vest and shorts which yeah. is why there were no pictures of him because he was, he was just going to have a shower i think it's called a shout a shout a shout i think shout. that's the official is that, shout is that right not a call yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we uh, moseyed on down, and we came to somewhere. And this is the, this is the joy of walking. Uh, we came to somewhere that uh, we hadn't heard about, but Washington Square, lovely green area, um, with. Uh, but it didn't have a statue of, of Washington at the, <laughs> the middle of it. It had another a statue of um, one of the other founders, and I can't remember his name. <laughs> but interesting, it's called Washington Square, but then yeah, it didn't have Washington at the centre of it. Um, but uh, there was a, it was a big area, lots of stuff happening at it, and um, there was dog training going on there because oh, yeah. um, it was sort of tea time-ish, and uh, they, they had a dog training session yeah. there. They had a lovely cathedral uh, opposite the park, which um, I really liked. The cathedral it was a really nice, quiet, restful place, and uh, and a real place of prayer, I thought, and then. Um, We'd carried on down from there uh, through North Beach, um, which is, uh, they don't like you saying this, but it's like a little Italy, um, but they don't like you calling it that for some reason. Um, but that's where we went after that. And then we, we eventually got down to where the cruise ship was. Phew. After an exhausting um, uh, day walking. Mm. So we, um, we covered, uh, Twenty uh, and a half thousand steps that day. Well, I did, and uh, that was my first twenty thousand plus day uh, for several uh, years because 
Um, I had my hip, I, I, I had my hip replaced in December, and uh, I've gradually done more and more steps all the way along. But it was my first 20 plus step day since the hip operation, because my hip had been bad before that. It was several years since I'd managed to do that, and I had no reaction really. Yeah. Um, I just needed uh, quite a few pints when I got on board. I think it was Prosecco. Prosecco, was it? Oh no, you had pints. I had pints. a couple of pints, mm. I think. Yeah. I don't have pints but, Prosecco. Um, and then we had quite a nice sunset yeah. as we, we left San Francisco. So all in all, one of our uh, best days yeah. on this cruise. And uh, I'd highly recommend San Francisco mm. to as a place to go and have a look. Yeah, a bit like Prague, really. We loved Prague, didn't we? When we that went wasn't to a cruise, though. We no. well, that wasn't flew a cruise. We just Prague. flew there. We, yeah. but we, and I would go back there. Yeah, we like we love Prague. Mm. Anyway, um, that's uh, that's the end of our uh, our journey to San Francisco. Yes. So next up is Vancouver. Um, which will be an adventure all on its own as well. So it's by from Mama Jane. And it's by from him. Bye.